we'll guide you through how to fix slow download speeds in Epic Games. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So first of all, you just want to go and check the Epic Games current status, because if there's some sort of downtime or problem, then that's gonna be the reason why it's slow. And it's a good idea just to check that before we go and try and resolve any problems. So all you want to do is go to a search engine and type in Epic Games status, just like so. And then come here, status.epicgames.com. And as you can see at the top here, it says all systems operational, which is fine. However, if there's something down here, then that could be a causing the slower download speed, but it'll be pretty clear if there is. The next thing we want to do is go and check our Epic Games launcher settings. So all you need to do is go and click off your downloads, then go to the top right and click on your profile icon in the top right and go and click on settings. And then what you want to do is come down to preferences and make sure throttle downloads is not selected because you may have gotten set a throttle and this basically throttles the speed that things can download at. So make sure that is not selected just like that is there. Not everybody will be able to do this next method, but if possible, try and use an ethernet cable or a LAN cable. And what this is, is a cable which plugs directly from your router into your computer. So it basically removes the whole wireless part. And if you can't have your computer or laptop right next to your internet router, then what you can do is get something called a power and adapter. And this basically helps you get ethernet right next to your computer around your house. As I said, that isn't possible for everyone. For the next method, come to the bottom of your computer and click on search and type in resource monitor, just like so, and go and open it up. And then here you can go and see processes which are using your network activity and you can go and see which is using the most. So as you can see, my Epic Games launcher is using the most that it's doing downloads, but I can also go and see that Google Chrome is using some as well. Um, but you may have an application which is using more than Epic Games, maybe another game launcher or something. So then what you can do is find out which you need to go and close to go and save on your internet bandwidth. And that will mean that Epic Games will have more and it will hopefully go and speed your downloads up. If you want to go and stop one, then all you need to do is right click on it and then you can go and press on end process and it will stop it. Now for the final method, you need to go and close Epic Games. So go and quit it like so and make sure it's fully closed. And to do that, you come to the bottom right, click on show hidden icons and find it then right click on it and press exit like so and press exit again. Your installations will be canceled. So just note that. And then what you need to do is come to the bottom of your computer and click on search and type in percentage local app data percentage like so and hit enter and this folder will open up and scroll down and locate Epic Games Launcher just here. Then go into saved and you need to go into config and now into windows and go and find engine.ini. Right click on it and click on open with and select notepad and here it is. And then what you need to do is go into the description and you need to go and copy some lines. I'll put a link to this article as well from Epic Games. And what we can do is add these following lines to this file, but what I'll also do is link the lines separately. So highlight them, right click it and press copy and then come back to the notepad, the engine.ini. Then you can right click and press paste and go to the top left and click on file and save. It's now gone and saved and you can then close off this here and you can then open up the Epic Games launcher again. And here we are, it's now opening back up. And then what you want to do is come to library or the store and we can then go and continue the installation or go and start it again. I hope these methods help fix your slow internet speed. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video.